What's going on my dudes one step here reacting to JM Croft's week one Street Fighter 6 tier list and giving our thoughts and analysis Take it one step at a time now, as we go over this tier list, my dudes, made by JM Croft, link to the video down below in the description in the comments. Let me know down below what do you think of this tier list because these are not just my thoughts. I want to hear from you guys as well. So the first thing you're going to see here, uh, kind of just a big picture of the tier list we have, and I just kind of want to go over the uh, the characters that he put where. Now, he does go on to say that this was more for fun and not so serious, but of course, there's always some thought put into the character's tier list of like, you know, their moveset, their supers, their mix-ups all of this stuff and up top the first thing that i want to go over is the s tier list there's only five characters in there as of right now as of this recording again week one the game's only been out for like nine days now so up top we have guile ken luke dj and jury and i'm not gonna lie to you the thing that caught my eye were two people and that was luke and jury i kind of already felt and knew that guile and ken and dj were really up there in fact if i were to make my own tears i'm sure i would put them either a plus or s of course and luke's not a bad character i actually really like luke he's got a lot of great tools you know projectiles overheads good combos good mix-ups he's got a lot of good answers to your opponent's move sets personally i would have put him at a plus or a but to see him in s was actually really interesting because he just doesn't feel s to me yo one step you're not a pro player so you don't know what you're talking about i may not be a pro player but i know the characters very well enough to know a lot of their frame data their move set and more in fact i've made beginner guides for all these characters every single character here so i know exactly what they bring to the table so so this is actually a really interesting top five jury i i mean i guess you could put her in ass because she's got a lot of good stuff she's got the projectile if needed her fuha kind of dictates her moveset and her power of her movesets and supers and her super art too is really good because it allows you to link basically any normal into any other normal or any other special and i think being the only character in the roster to be able to do that is really good tool especially for good comebacks and the things you can do in super art too are things that no other character can do so i i mean i guess i see the s there it just surprised me a little bit and now let's go to a plus line where we have e honda jp kimberly and manon now first things first i'm a manon main and that's right where i would put her it's funny because like i know she's not s she's got a couple things missing that i would like but her tool set's really good her damage is great i really agree with almost all of these the one thing i really want to question is e honda and not because i don't like e honda his moveset just wasn't my favorite and that's more of a personal preference i guess i understand probably where he's coming from with the anti-airs he's got good charge inputs he's got really good special and normals i do like e honda I, I probably would have put him in a not a plus but i but i kind of see it now jp i absolutely agree now jp is one of those characters where honestly he's really only a plus if you have a really good player behind the controller of jp most jps don't know how to play him correctly a lot of them just spam the projectiles you know try to zone him out which he does do quite a bit and like i know he's meant to zone because of his moveset i understand that but to also understand his other complexities along with zoning so i i totally agree a plus is a good spot for jp i do like that one a lot now going to the a line we have chun li cami blanca marissa and ryu and i'm not gonna lie to you most of those make a lot of sense they they definitely belong in a and those ones are in my opinion chun li blanca and ryu they're pretty good solid all-around characters that have a decent move set that can handle a lot of stuff but the ones that i kind of question here are cami and marissa i don't know if i would put cami quite s i mean i really want to put her s she's just super fast she's got great mix-up she's got a great command grab she can literally just be a lightning bolt on the screen and be absolutely everywhere and just be so frustrating that I think if mastered, I think would be long in S tier. That's just me. The lowest I would put Cammy is A plus, but again, that's just my personal preference. Seeing her in A was kind of weird. I was like, really? Cammy in A? I mean, the arguments he made, again, go watch the video, do make sense, but I think if you bend it a little bit, I, <laughs> I would put her in S. And same with Marissa. Actually, the same goes for Marissa. Her moveset, her armor breaks, the armor that she has on her moves, her mix-ups, everything she's got going on i think marissa's a powerhouse i think utilized correctly she could belong in probably the low s high a plus seeing her in a was just a bit weird i was like i mean she's that means she's mid you know to jm croft so it, then saying oh yeah marissa's mid it's like well i mean i i kind of can see it but honestly at the end of the day if you utilize 
her armor her armor breaks and her mix-ups correctly in a battle oh my gosh you are absolutely destroying your opponent and and again i think i would put her in low s but but uh these are more or less just my thoughts and ryu's ryu's ryu ryu's Ryu. i feel like ryu is meant to be a he's meant to be the mid-tier character it's like yeah if you want to be really good you got to practice with me and i can be super amazing but at the end of the day i'm just more or less this mid-tier character that a lot of beginners might try out because i am ryu i'm the face of the i'm the face of the freaking game i mean i like his moveset a lot he's got the hadoken the shuriken he's got a lot of tools to really put pressure on your opponent i love it but it just didn't feel s or even a plus to me so i think a is a great spot now as we go to the bottom four let's talk about the b line here dalsim jamie and lily now i'm not gonna lie to you dalsim these three honestly just i don't disagree with the b or even the c line c b and zangief uh let's talk about that one real quick zangief being the bottom tier like probably the, like literally here the only person in c tier i get it yes one step he can do so much damage with his grabs and his super yeah you're not wrong but you, you know how punishable those are and the thing is with zangief that's what we know as his opponent that he's going for he doesn't have a ton of crazy combos like 9 10 20 hit combos he's not trying to do that he's trying to punish you as the opponent grabbing you and doing a free 3000 damage grab if not more so because as the opponent really can read zangief off the get-go it makes it really hard for zangief to get in there especially to other characters like they can just throw stuff and keep him away zangief can spin through projectiles i don't care if zangief really relies on getting in his opponent's face and punishing them and honestly if you just don't let zangief punish you you're 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 fine his command grabs can be easily jumped over in a lot of scenarios and then punished super hard like let's go ahead and put it this way Whenever I fight a Zangief, I'm like, okay, this is fine. A lot of characters had different game plans that the player behind the controller can choose. Like, oh, I want to play, you know, E Honda this way, or I'm going to play Jury like this instead of this. Well, when you're playing Zangief, you really only have one game plan in mind, and everybody knows what that game plan is. Even as a Manon main myself, who has a devastating command grab, she's got a lot of tools to really mix it up. I can win games without grabbing you a single time. She's got great mix ups, good combo, things to get in there and then yeah the grab is just another cherry on top but zangief really he really relies kind of solely on his grabs that's just how he's built so being bottom tier i get it sorry for the rant to jump back into the b tier dalsim jamie and lily dalsim though i like dalsim he's meant to zone he's meant to play keep away and a lot of characters are built to just get in there instead and though dalsim again in some scenarios can handle himself up close he's not really built for that he's meant to throw projectiles the fireballs the back heavy that can just keep you out of the air great anti-airs stuff like that to really keep his opponent away sure he can teleport get in their face and do some fun stuff but kind of like zangief we know the game plan is going to happen most often so he's just pretty punishable and a lot of time dalsim players man when someone gets in their face they kind of just like freak out and don't know what to do so then it's just an easy dub now jamie i love jamie a lot when they brought in a new drunk master to street fighter 6 and said hey you're gonna get more powerful the more drunk you get that's a really cool concept but the problem with jamie is is unlike characters like Manon that keep their gimmick to the next round like Manon keeps her metal levels to the next round Jamie loses his drunk level every round so if you have a good round you get the drunk level of four pretty early on that's great but you're only in it for the last half of that round and then you start over the next round and Jamie's toolkit is not the best it's kind of punishable when you're only drunk level zero or one and so he really tries hard to get past that drunk level two or three trying to get to four then when he finally does the round just restarts him and he's like just kind of useless again so i get it if he kept the drunk level kind of like how manon does for her metal levels I think he'd be up to AA plus. He just struggles early game. And in a very fast paced fighting game like Street Fighter, that is not good. I think Lily's fine. Lily's not a bad pick. I mean, she's got decent tools and a fun command grab. I would have put Lily almost an A, low A, high B. So I, I, I kind of agree with the same general area that she's in right now, the JM Croft put her in. I understand it. I, I think I would have put her just one little level above that with the command grab with her fun mix-ups. Her, her ability to power up her specials and stuff like that is really fun. She's a cool character. But at the end of the day, a character as a whole with what she brings to the table, B tier, I understand. To kind of recap, there's really like one or two characters in each line here that I just kind of question and maybe disagree with just a little bit. Not Zangief. I, yeah, Zangief's bottom. I understand that. Jamie, Dalsim, I kind of see you down there. Lily, I a little bit disagree 
to disagree with. And again, for the top five, I, 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 I probably would have swapped Luke and JP, maybe even Luke and Cammy. I, I don't think Luke is S tier. That's just me. Uh, he's got a lot of really good stuff. I think he's just like one level lower than that. I see Jury's potential, so I kind of get the yes, but I definitely understand the guy Ken and DJ. That totally makes sense. And I understand the E Honda, Kimberly, and Manon thing there for the A plus. And I absolutely get the Chun Li, Blanca, and Ryu for A. There's just a few characters that I might have placed a bit differently, but these are just my preferences. So with all these thoughts on the table let me know down below guys what do you think of jm croft's tier list what do you agree with what do you disagree with and who do you play in street fighter 6 let me know that down below also if you enjoy fighting game content make sure to subscribe here for more as we have new videos monday and friday in your fighting game journey take it one step at a time and i will see you in the next one